with Falcon football coach John O'Grady. And, John, the Falcons went on the road to number two ranked UW Whitewater last Saturday and lost a 38 14 decision. We're watching some defensive video from that game. Um, how about your thoughts about the game? Well, I think that's very legitimate ranking that they have. I think they've got a great chance to return to the, the uh, final game. Whether that will be against Mount Union, I don't know. But uh, uh, very, as we said going into the game last week, very difficult team to try to find flaws in. They, they really don't have many, although I thought we really played them as tough as anybody, but only for about a quarter and a half. They're a awfully good football team, John. Uh, looking at the players of the week, uh, sophomore safety Matt Ainsworth was named the team's defensive player of the week. He was credited with six tackles. Also came up with the game's only interception. Could you talk about Matt's play a little bit this year? Yeah, sometimes in a game like that that appears to be so lopsided, it's really hard to identify players uh, uh, of the week, really in any phase of the game. But um, we do do it, and I think Matt played a, 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 a very good game. He did have a pick. It was the only, it's the only the second interception that, that uh, Whitewater's quarterback has thrown all year long. We also sacked him once, which was the second sack. I mean, that's the kind of team that they have. I thought Matt played, uh, played well and has, you know, really, it, it's nice to know that he's going to be able to be around here for a couple more years. John Freshman, John Chemenz was uh, named the Special Teams Player of the Week. Um, you had mentioned that he plays on almost all the Falcons special teams. He also had two tackles. You should talk about John's play. Yeah, Johnny is certainly not a very big, imposing guy, but uh, very, very quick. One of our tailbacks, I think uh, having guys like him, Joel Yolgerst, uh, uh, Fector, all these guys are running backs. We're going to try to get Ahmad Palmer in there. Uh, being able to put that kind of athlete on the field in special teams, I think, has made a real difference. Uh, our kickoff team is still one of the best in the league statistically. Johnny helps us on that unit. He helps us on punt. He helps us on punt block. He helps us on kickoff return. He's on everything. Uh, he's really a 100% effort guy and uh, really uh, has added a lot to us. This is Matt Ainsworth here intercepting that pass. We're going to take a look at that. It looks like a deep ball. Great play by, by Matt. Um, on the offensive side, sophomore fullback Joel Yogers was named the team's Offensive Player of the Week for the second straight week. Could you talk about Joel's play a little bit? Yeah, Joel has really been a very consistent blocker, a very good athlete. He's another guy, as I've said, who you know, was good enough to put on special teams. You know, that's one thing about our new offensive system, although, you know, it's not new anymore. But uh, in the old days, our fullback used to be a runner. Nowadays, that guy is a blocker. Uh, so he's got to be a very team-oriented guy. Uh, if you look at Owen Schmidt in the NFL, Owen is a fullback, doesn't carry the ball. He blocks, but he has got to make a tremendous contribution on special teams, and that's what Joel has done also. So uh, you know, Whitewater has a very big defensive front, very powerful linebackers, and he was uh, in a situation where he had to try to block those guys all day long. John, looking ahead, the Falcons host UW Platteville on Saturday. A reminder to fans: kickoff is at three o'clock, later start time than normal. Uh, what do you know about the Pioneers? Really, uh, in the last few years, have really come on defensively. They, a year ago, they shut us out. That's an abnormality in this era of football. <clears throat> and they had two total shutouts last year. They have an outstanding defensive front with some big people, and they have big, strong linebackers who can run. Uh, they have been very difficult to score points on the last few years. So, you know, obviously we've been trying to prepare for that all week. Offensively, it looks, seems like they've had a lot of injuries. Gosh, they, they think they played five different guys at quarterback last week. Maybe they're doing some of that wildcat stuff, uh, but they're playing a lot of different people. They, I think they've got some people banged up. Very uh, unusual offense in that they're going to spread you all over the field and spread you out, <clears throat> try to get mismatches with, with some receivers on the perimeter and that kind of thing. The other thing I'm really, really impressed with is their special teams. They have blocked punts this year. Uh, they are a great kickoff return team. Their punter is as good as there is in this league. He's going to pin us into the boundary all day long. going to be hard to return punts. A kickoff guy does the same thing. He pins you into the boundary. And they have really good athletes on all those units. I'm very impressed with how they have come on here, particularly in special teams and in defense last few years. I think the only thing that's holding them back right now is, is their offense. And 
that's understandable because it's hard to get enough really, really good athletes to you know, put a lot of points on the board in this league. John, good luck to the Falcons this weekend. We'll talk to you next week. And for Falcon Sports, this is Jim Thies.